so. 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 What's this? Who's this with you? And who's this? My baby. What do you mean? He's my baby. You had a baby? Yes. You never told me. I couldn't. Why? I just couldn't. We don't have secrets. I couldn't tell you. I never told anyone. But I'm not anyone. I'm your husband. I know. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I just don't understand. I need some time to think about it. I'd find you here. Bob, we can't go on like this. We've hardly spoken for weeks. We need to talk. It's a pity you didn't think about talking to me 40 years ago, instead of keeping secrets. Please let me explain. Okay, go on then, explain. When I met you, I hadn't told a soul about my son. You told me you couldn't have children. What was I supposed to say? Oh, that's okay. I've got a child and I had him adopted. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to hurt you and I didn't want to make you feel guilty. So it's all my fault now. Just because I couldn't have children doesn't mean to say I didn't want a family. You never said. I just felt too embarrassed, I suppose. After Mum died, I did think about telling you, but I was so afraid of how you would feel about me. But this all happened way before we met. Nothing could ever change the way I feel about you. We've always been so happy. I didn't want to risk losing you. After all these years? You should know me better than that. I just feel we're living a lie at the moment. I find it hard to handle. I'm sorry, Bob. I just want to get back to how we were. What are you doing, Bob? I'm oh, looking through some old records. I noticed you had an old 45 in your box. Yeah. Sailor. I played this for hours. It drove my mad. Go on then. Tell me about this sailor. I met him when I was 15, he was 21, and on my 16th birthday he proposed. He was being posted to Hong Kong, so if we got married straight away, we could live in married quarters. I was so excited. It's a bit young, wasn't it, 16? Yes, we needed special permission from Mum, but she refused. In fact, she said we weren't to see each other ever again. I was absolutely heartbroken. Was it because of the age? Partly, but my dad was a Marine. This is, this is a picture. That's the day they got married. It 
It's the only photograph I've got. When Mum married him, she found out after that he was seeing other women and he was a very heavy drinker. When she told him that she was pregnant, he was off like a shot. So when I said I wanted to marry a sailor, she couldn't see past the uniform. After he left for Hong Kong, I found out I was pregnant. I didn't know what to do. I had no one to talk to. So I went away where no one knew me and I had the baby on my own. A lovely little boy. So what happened then? I couldn't provide for him. I really had no option but to have him adopted. I did at least name him. I called him David. You ever thought of trying to find him? No. Why not? It broke my heart to give him up. I couldn't go through that pain anyway. He wouldn't want to meet me. I gave him away. Hi, I'm trying to find a relative and I was wondering if you could help me. Here are David's uh, birth certificate and adoption papers. You know the ones we spoke about on the phone? Yeah. Uh, but remember, the father's name is not on there. And you do realise that David won't be called David anymore? No, I didn't realise that. But don't worry too much because I deal with adoption specialists, so we should be able to sort that problem out. OK, so should it take long to trace David, do you know? It's difficult to say. Uh, in my experience, these things are not easy to deal with. What you've got to remember is we have to be very sensitive in how we handle this case. OK. Well, all I can say is will you do the best you can for me, please? OK. Oh, Sheila. Hello. Gordon Peters here. Hi. I have some information for you. I'm in your area on you Wednesday. Would the same place be okay? Yeah. It's 10 o'clock? Okay. I'll, uh, uh, I'll see you. Thanks. Today, Bye. Next time. Next time. Who's that? Oh, it's the garage. I've got to ring them back about a car service. Oh, all right. Sorry, Sheila. Bye, Ben. Bye. Bye. Hello? Go on then, what you found out? Well, I've been able to locate David. Great, where does he live? I'd love to meet him. Remember what I said at the first meeting? I warned you that these situations have to be handled exceedingly carefully. Yes, I, I, I know that. This first contact could be very traumatic for all concerned. It's best that I deal with this myself. No, I'd like to do this. Now hang on, you know nothing about this man. How do you think he's going to feel if you just turn up on his doorstep? It'll be okay. He's Sue's son. Have you even thought of how you're going to approach the subject? I think you're making a big mistake. I warn you again, this could all go terribly wrong. Turn right. In 200 yards, enter the roundabout and take the second exit. Turn left. You have arrived at your destination.
Hello, Gordon Peters. It's Bob. How did it go? Absolutely terrible. I got as far as the front door and I just panicked. I couldn't get through with it. I wish I'd have listened to you in the first place. You're going to do it my way now. Happy birthday. What's this? I hope you can see. <laughs> A present? Yeah. Not very often, is he? No. No. Oh, that's lovely, thank you. It's OK. You know, I never wanted to give him away. I've got something to tell you. What? I've been keeping a secret. I hired a detective to find David. And he's managed to trace him. I wish you hadn't done that. Oh, um, well. I've arranged for him to meet us here today. He's coming to see us, but... I don't want you to get your hopes up too much. He's not managed to convince David to come. But he's going to tell us all about it when he gets here. Hi. This is Gordon. Gordon, this is my wife, Sue. Hello, Sue. Bob tells me you're going to tell us what you've found out. I'm going to do a little bit more than that because I brought your granddaughter here to meet you. Natalie! Hi Nanny. My name's Nat and this is Jensen, your great-grandson. I really wanted to meet you and I thought it was important that Jensen knew who his great-grandmother was. Would you like to hold him? I'll be going now, but don't worry, I'll be in touch, OK? OK. Yeah. Bye. Bye. How old do you say? He's three months old. He's beautiful. Who's that on the picture? That's your dad. Well, Dave, you know now it's up to you, don't you? We spoke about I this. know we did. Just stop. I, mean, just, I just need more time. I'm really glad I came, but I've got to go because I've got to feed Jackson. You will keep in touch, won't you? Of course I will. Hi, little Bye. one. Bye. Bye. Jensen looks so much like David. Yeah. Not not in that car. What was I expecting? I don't know why I came. My life has not been perfect. Is she the one to blame? I find it hard to understand The choices she has made Could I just forgive her? Or should things stay the same?